Have you ever wondered how four AI video models have come in understanding complex prompts and body movements? Kling 2.5 takes it to another level. It can follow multi-action scenes, handle gymnastics, dance and sports and keep every movement perfectly consistent. From camera focus shift to 360 cinematic rotations from fighting scenes to slow emotional moments, this model reacts like it actually understands what you mean. And make sure to stay till the end of this video because I will show you two powerful ways to upscale your videos and takes your results to the next level. Let's go! As you can see here, I've generated a bunch of videos and tested different prompts to see how well Plink 2.5 can handle them. The first test I ran is this video. You can see my prompt written here. You can check it for yourself and you can see how well it managed it in terms of realism, the motion in the gorilla's hair and the way it looks around. It did this in a really impressive way. Here's another output and pay attention because it's a little different. The shot is pulled back a bit and you can see how well it followed my prompt both in terms of physics and realism. Here's another type of light example. I really appreciate if you like the video right now and subscribe to the channel for my next fantastic tutorials where we have a bird. You can see the prompt here as well. Again, I think it looks really beautiful, but in this one, the camera is static and there's only a little movement. Now let me explain how to work with this platform. I'm using Kling 2.5 on the OpenArt platform because first, the pricing is really good, and second, the environment is very user-friendly. You can easily generate both text-to-video and image-to-video outputs without any hassle. The reason I use OpenArt is that, as you can see, all the latest and most powerful video models are already listed here, including Sora 2, which I'll definitely review for you in my next video. Right now, you can already use it directly here on OpenArt. To use OpenArt, it's really simple. Just follow the link I've placed in the description of this post. That link will take you directly to OpenArt. If you haven't signed up yet, you will need to create an account and choose your plan. After you've registered and selected your plan, you simply come here and click on the video option. Click on it and then you can choose either image to video or text to video. I'll go with text to video. From here, I select my model, which is Kling 2.5, and then I can type in my prompt. Here, I can also choose the length of my video, which can be either 5 seconds or 10 seconds. You can also select the aspect ratio here to decide what size your video will be. It's that simple. And you can see that for a 10 second video, it deducts more credits, and for a 5 second video, it takes 100 credits. Then I just hit generate. All right, now let's continue with the videos I've created and show you the results. Here I wanted to test how strong this model is at simulating gymnastics movements. If you look at the video, you can see how impressively it managed to recreate those gymnastics moves. This example is with a gorilla and you can see it pulled it off really well. And here we also tested it on a human. You can see that about 90% of the movements and body dynamics are accurate. Sometimes you might notice a little flow error but overall, I'd say in this section, we could easily give it around 80 to 90% accuracy. In this video, I wanted to test how powerful the model is at changing focus and how well it can shift the camera's focus. If you notice, at first the camera is focused on the gorilla and gradually the focus shifts to the robot behind it. Here you can see my prompt and in this case, I used the image to video feature. My input image was this one and I gave it this prompt, telling it to smoothly shift the camera focus onto the robot and then later on have the robot approach and get into a fight. And as you can see, it did a really great job with that. This video is also text to video. I gave it this prompt and you can see it generated something like a war scene. It's a battle scene that, in my opinion, is fairly acceptable. Again, there are a few places where it flows off a bit, but overall I think it managed to handle it pretty well. In the next video, I wanted to check the camera movement again. If you pay attention, in my prompt I wrote that at the start of the video, the camera should begin at a low angle, positioned behind this herd of kangaroos, and then perform a smooth crane shot moving upward. You can use this kind of prompt for cinematic shots. You can see how smoothly and cleanly it managed to execute this. 
I'll leave the prompts here for you so you can check them out and use them yourself. In this example, I wanted to test just how realistic this model can get. You can see how well it simulated this person's skin, the skin details, the sunlight, the movement of the train. It's all really impressive. Look at the eye details. You can see how well and how realistically it managed to generate this video. Here's the prompt I used. You can see that even in extremely close-up videos, Cling 2.5 can perform very strongly and give you stunning cinematic shots. The next video is this drama sequence. You can see how well it managed to create this scene. There's a moment where the character has water on their face, clenches their fist, and then punches forward. It's very consistent, and I think it followed my prompt really well. Look how natural and beautiful it looks, with no real issues in the movement. The only thing is that the water looks a bit sticky, which feels slightly unnatural but the rest is great. You can see that in the part where I wrote in the prompt that the person is breathing heavily, it's fully executed. The tears are rolling down and it really followed my prompt well. I also said the scene should be under a white light and the punch to the mirror came out very natural and realistic in my opinion. Here I gave it another prompt that's almost like a poem. This is actually a good idea. You can write a piece of poetry or an artistic text and feed it in and you'll get an output like this. You can see how artistically beautiful it looks. In this other example, I also gave it a more artistic text, a woman standing on a balcony wearing a red dress with the wind blowing through her hair. In this video, I wanted to test it with the basketball player's movements, which can be a bit tricky and challenging for AI, just to see how well it could handle it. You can see it did an amazing job, the movement of the hands, the arms, the legs, everything looks natural. The player's three-step move and the slam dunk were executed really well. If you look closely at the background, the spectators and the other players, their arms, their legs, everything looks very natural and consistent. That's the power of this new Kling model. You can see that everything stays in place, nothing falls apart. Even the faces in the crowd and on the basketball player himself are smooth and natural. The movement of the clothes, the hands and the ball all look very realistic and accurate, in my opinion. In this video, you can see I tested skiing on snow and you can see how naturally it captured the body's movement and dynamics. The elements are really precise, attractive and consistent throughout the video. Here's another example, this time with snowboarding and you can see how well it managed to handle it. In this video, I wanted to test an explosion scene along with cinematic camera movement. Based on my prompt, I asked for a series of explosions in the background and specified that the camera should zoom in while the explosions happen behind the subject. You can see how natural and realistic the explosions are, very cinematic, very clean. The destruction effects that happen here look really neat and precise with that blurry depth of field effect in the background and the camera zooming in on the character. The actor's face stays very consistent and steady all the way until the zoom completes. Here I gave it a slightly more complex prompt. If you take a closer look, see if it could generate a skateboarding sequence and you can see that it managed to do it very precisely without any artifacts. Even the jump, the leg dynamics and the skateboard's own dynamics are all handled really well and cleanly. You can see how well it captured the moments when the skater changes direction, the timing of the jumps, the landings and the effect of gravity. Everything looks very consistent and very accurate. Honestly, in this area, Clink 2.5 performs extremely powerfully. You can also see that it followed the details of my prompt really well. Here we have another example, a knight standing while a massive dragon approaches him, giving us a very cinematic and impressive shot. Look at how beautiful and detailed everything is. Here I also wanted to test another close-up shot. Look at the panda's details, it's punching and you can see what a cinematic and striking image it produced. In this next one, there's a car driving downhill in the snow. You can see how well the dynamics of the car are preserved and when it goes uphill, the snow spray effect looks really good in my opinion. With the same prompt, I tried another environment, this time in a green field, and again it gave us a really strong result. The dynamics are excellent. Here I also asked it for a 360 degree rotation shot of the Joker character inside a stadium. You can see him standing there with the camera movement, the hand gestures, the rotation. It's all very precise and accurate. Now in this next examples, I tested image to video. Here you can see a fashion video. This is the input image I gave it and look how impressively it managed to create a completely realistic video for me. With this, you can easily take your clothes using the Nano Banana image editing model 
digital and put them on a model like a bag, clothing, or any item you have, and then turn it into a very attractive promotional video like this. Just add some music and you can see how engaging it becomes. Look at how well it converted this image into a video without changing any of the elements. The bag, the subject's face, the hair, the glasses, everything is consistent and the overall vibe is cinematic and advertising ready. Here I asked it to take the input image and make the subject perform a 360 degree spin while taking a selfie. But here it has one flaw. I wanted it to rotate just the selfie itself, but you can see the hand suddenly comes out of the frame and we end up seeing the phone which I didn't want to appear in the video. In this example, I asked it to make a dance video. You can see how well it managed to capture the dance posture, the movement of the legs, the arms, the body, and even the hair. All of it looks natural and consistent. It even generated the street background properly. There are no issues. The leg and body movements look completely natural. Here is another clothing example. I prompted it so that the t-shirt opens up and then appears on a man who is standing. You can see it preserved the shirt very well. Here I ask it to take this input image and perform a 360 degree camera orbit to showcase my product. You can see how well it handles that. The text changes slightly. But overall, I think the result is good. Maybe for these types of samples, it's better to use Clink 2.1. You just go here to the model selection section, click and choose Clink 2.1, which includes the first frame and last frame options. This feature is available in Clink 2.1, and you can use it to avoid the text on the product becoming deformed during the video. In the next example, I asked it to take this input image of this woman and turn it into a cinematic scene where she suddenly gets scared. And then a dinosaur appears in the city, chasing people and chasing her, and she starts running away in fear. Look at how impressive this video turned out, the dinosaurs interact with the environment, those heavy stomps, the destruction they cause, it all looks very natural and precise. And the way the crowd runs away is, in my opinion, very well done. Here, I gave it a photo of a swimmer, this one, and asked it to generate a video of the swimmer swimming underwater. You can see how clean, natural, and beautiful the output looks. Then I asked it to create a video of a diver jumping into the water. And in this example, the result wasn't bad. This video also includes text to video, but it's not extremely precise. I created this one using the Sora 2 model, and in my opinion, the results with that model are a little better. You can test it for yourself. Here, I also gave it a few artistic images and asked it to turn them into videos. You can see how attractively it managed to do this. Here's another example. This was our input image. And with this prompt, we were able to create such an appealing video. Wow. You can easily make videos like this for Instagram or other social media, add some good music and get amazing views. Here's another one. This was the input image. This was my prompt. And you can see what an artistic and beautiful result we were able to get. Because when it comes to body dynamics, legs, arms, and especially in dance movements, Clink 2.5 performs really well. I think these kinds of videos turn out really attractive. If you look closely, the leg movements are very good and natural. There is no noticeable deformation. It performs at about 95% accuracy in terms of correct leg and arm movements, which is excellent. Even look at the fingers, how naturally they move without distortion. And this is even when the subject is a bit further away in the frame. In this video, I used an input image generated with Midjourney. Someone on Instagram had created it and I thought it was a really cool picture. With some good music and Clink 2.5, you can create artistic and engaging videos like this. Now, let me show you a method you can use to upscale your videos. You can do this directly in OpenArt. Just go into the Video Upscale section, upload your video, and select which frame you want as the output. It works really well and can upscale your video beautifully. This is another powerful feature inside OpenArt. For generating your images, OpenArt also provides access to all the major image generation models. All you need to do is click on image here, then click on the word switch, and you'll see the full list of models you can use for creating and editing images. All the strong and powerful models are here. Crea, Imagen, 
Ideogram 3, Quen Image Edit, Open Art, Flux Context, Nano Banana, Seadream 4, Flux Pro, and every image generation model you'd want is available. Just click on any of them and you can work with both image to image and text to image and even create really stunning and artistic pictures. Thanks for watching. I see you in the next videos.